February 6th, Hemlock Creek will be having a Barnes & Noble event. If you've been to one before, you know that some staff members and students will be doing performances or reading books. Some percentage of all books purchased will be going to our school. Don't forget to stop by Barnes & Noble's on February 6th. Thank you for joining us today, Ms. Lukey. Thank you for having me, Phoebe. Could you tell us what Jump Rope for Heart is all about? I remember it from last year, but I could use a refresher. I sure can. Jump Rope for Heart is our annual fundraising and community service event that we do here at Hemlock Creek Elementary. This is our ninth annual, and we have all the kids come to their regular FIAD classes next week. We start on Monday, and they'll come for their regular three days, but the curtain will be up, and we have stations that are lots of fun. Thank you so much. I can't wait for Jump Rope for Heart to start. Me either. All I keep hearing around the school is the song, Tomorrow, Tomorrow. Am I missing something on the radio? That's not a song on the radio. It's a popular song from the musical Annie. Oh, I see. Is our school doing a musical? Yes, we are. Fourth and fifth stu grade students are doing it this year. They've been working very hard. When is it? Can I come see it? Performances will be in the beginning of March at the high school. Third, fourth, and fifth graders will be able to attend a dress rehearsal. I can't wait to see it. Do you know what holiday is just around the corner? Yes, Valentine's Day. It's my favorite because of all the candy we get to eat. Mine too. Speaking of candy, our PTO will be having a Srugis chocolate sale starting February 16th. Is that where they sell the candy bars and chocolate eggs? It sure is. If you'd like to sell them, please make sure you show your parents the order form coming home on Tuesday nights in a few weeks. Want to make someone smile? This month, student council members have been doing random acts of kindness. In case you didn't know, a random act of kindness is something you do not because it's a holiday or their birthday. It's just because you want to do it. My random act of kindness was when I put a note of encouragement on somebody's desk. Mine was the same thing, too. Make sure to watch the Kid Present video on random acts of kindness. By the way, Arav, I have one for you. Dad, what's our PBIS reward this month? For this month, for February, we are going to have a staff variety show. What that means, I don't know how many of you remember last year with the staff variety show, there was the dancing glow sticks, there was the sumo wrestlers, and who can forget the centipede? I cannot. So we're hoping that at the end of this month, when everybody meets their goal at the end of February, that we'll have another staff variety show and we are wondering what those teachers will have in store for us this time. Have you been cutting out box tops for the competition that's going on? I am, but when are they do? February 12th, and remember, if you bring in 50 trimmed and cut box tops, you will be receiving a special spirit stick. During our last episode of Chemlock Creek Happenings, Ms. Schofield showed us how to get to the Artsonia website and find our artwork. Today we have a couple of questions for her about Artsonia. Hi Lily, thank you for having me. How do you get everyone's work on Artsonia? Well, there is an app on the iPad that we use to upload all of the pictures of your artwork and we put them on Artsonia. We also have parent volunteers that come in and help with that. Do, your, do our parents need a code? or an account for it, Sonia? Your parents do not need a code or account to um, look at Art Sonia. However, if they do want to set up an account, they can email me or Ms. Corson. Is it true that our parents can buy things like coffee mugs, necklaces, and t-shirts with our artwork printed on them? Yes, that is true. Your parents are able to go on Art Sonia and purchase things with your artwork printed on them. The best part about that is 20% of the proceeds come back to the art room to buy more supplies to make more projects. Why did you and Mrs. Cor Ms. Corson decide to start putting our artwork on Artsonia? We decided to use Artsonia for a couple different reasons. It's the largest online art museum in the world. It's a great way to organize artwork and for you to get artwork home safe. Sometimes you bring artwork home, things happen, they break, maybe they rip. Maybe you lose them, but it's a way to preserve your artwork so that it's always online. Sounds like a great website to check out. Be sure to visit www.artzonia.com and check it out. Thanks, Ms. Schofield. Thank you.